Hey guys, I'm Ashley Green and you are watching New You. Tell me how you got involved with this event today. Um, you know, it was brought to my attention and this is something that I'm a big advocate for. I'm actually friends with Brit Snow who does Love Is Louder, so that was that was a huge factor. Um, but you know, I'm all about female empowerment and kind of people being kind to each other and giving each other kind of information, helping them along the way because I think it's such an important thing, especially in this day and age. There's for lack of a better term, there's a lot of hate out there. And so it's, you know, I think people are noticing that and making a big change and kind of being advocates for people loving people, women loving women. So I giving was, advice. To, did it feel good to give advice today? I heard some people in the audience asking you questions about your life choices and your career choices. How did that feel? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, um, you know, for me, a huge thing for people to be able to take advice from me and for me to be able to kind of share my journey and hopefully help someone else with theirs and give them the confidence to be able to do so because, you know, a lot of a lot of industries, especially health, beauty, you know, any kind of any kind of creative is, is a difficult thing to kind of break into. And so um, for me, it was it was it was incredible to be able to kind of give people advice and hopefully hopefully give them that extra like oomph to be able to keep going. Fabulous. Now you're speaking on a panel next, uh, staying on trend with makeup, with beauty. Um, what are some beauty tips, skincare tips that you have? Um, well, again, for me, especially off carpet, like I keep it very, very simple. And I think um, water, it's no secret. Hydration is very, very important for the skin. Um, I use natural serums, green tea, vitamin C, I think is a huge thing. Um, and I think apart from skincare, with beauty, it's important to just make sure that you're I think you keep true to yourself. Like for me, it's a very big thing to accentuate, you know, my features, but also not try and change who I am and what I look like and embrace that. And um, hopefully other people do that too. Because I think you should be able to look in the mirror and feel comfortable with yourself without makeup on and say like, I feel beautiful and I love who I am. Now on that topic, what do you have health advice that you would give your young fans? Um, I think definitely, definitely stay fit because muscle memory is a thing which I'm learning now that I'm in my 30s. Um, <laughs> so I think, yes, being like finding something, a way to be physically active that makes you happy because not everyone wants to be in the gym, but people love surfing or hiking or swimming. Um, so I think, you know, it's important to find that thing that gets you active and maybe gets you outside because it, it for me at least, when I leave the gym, I am a happier person. I go home and everything's great. I feel accomplished and... Um, you know, you look good, you feel good, it releases endorphins, and so I think it's, uh, again, in this day and age when people are on their computers, on their phones, not really engaging, it's, it's a nice thing to be, I think, engaged in nature and to, like, look around you. Now, how do you maintain your energy level doing all the things you do and as well as exercising? Um, again, vitamin B12, vitamin C is a big thing. Um, in general, I try and be mindful of what I eat because I know there are certain things that take my energy and dip it to a low that maybe my body doesn't necessarily agree with. So to me, I think eating is a really huge factor. Um, you know, what you put in your body is kind of what you're going to get out of it. Um, so I think that and trying your best to get eight hours. I know everyone can. I certainly don't most of the time. So tough. Yeah. <laughs> Naps are not only for kids. Um, but yeah, I think the, for me, the biggest thing is nutrition because that's where I get my energy from. And lastly, social media, that's a big focus of this, um, you know, the panels, the convention. So tell me, what's your approach to social media and do you have any tips or advice? So I was kind of slow on the come up with social media, I think. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, the more I really look at it, it's important because I looked at it originally and I was like, you know what, like, I'm more of a private person. I don't know if I want to relay all this information, but then the more engaged I get, it's actually, I think, quite an important thing. One, you get to share what you're doing with the world, but then having the responses from your fans and responding to them, um, it's it's a really great outlet to be able to kind of, I think, further your reach. And if someone needs encouragement, you get to see that from your computer. You don't have to go to Brazil, but I can speak to people who are from Brazil and, and kind of um, that. And I think, you know, it keeps you, if there's something current, like I work very heavily with A21, and if there's something currently that I want people to know, it's out there. And so I think it's really a great kind of universal way to, to speak to people and have them speak to you.